Dogs rough uh, uh, chewing bones and uh, this exercise is also healthy for the dogs because it uh, stimulates the salivary glands that produce a lot of saliva thus cleaning the mouth of the dog and removing bad smell. It also strengthens uh, the teeth of the dog. However, uh, bone sticking between the teeth of dogs is becoming increasingly common. And uh, sometimes you might not see the bone, but the clinical signs that you see is a gaping mouth or the dog is not able to open the mouth. Sometimes there is zarification, excess zarification that wets the front part of the dog. Uh, sometimes there is reeking of the tongue and uh, gaping and being uncomfortable. So because of this saliva, you find that the, 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 it, uh, there is bad smell or bad odor and it attracts flies and the dog spends the, the best part of the day trying to uh, fight uh, these uh, flies. Sometimes for you to know what is happening, you have to sedate the dog, maldre, and then you open the mouth and that is when you are likely uh, to see uh, where the bone is. And you have to use some surgical equipment uh, to pull off uh, the bone. The cause of these uh, bones uh, sticking in the dog's mouth is the current development of cutting meat, whereby meat is cut using uh, machines. These days, the machine which is being used uh, to cut meat, and this machine is able to cut bones, even the bones that previously uh, were not uh, cut, and therefore the dogs never used to eat them. So it exposes the dogs to machine bones that previously uh, were not given to dogs. Uh, this implies that even joints, hard joints, are cut into pieces and the dog is now given uh, to eat. Uh, sometimes one might think that when the bones are raw, it might cause more problems than when they are cooked, but that is not the case. The case, the problem is the cutting of the bone that produces uh, rough edges that the dog is not able to crack. So it is recommended that if you are cutting bones for the dog, use the packer. But you must use the machine, as the machine is now increasingly being used to cut the bones, then you must still go back and use the panga to split these bones so that uh, they are uh, edible for the dog. When you do that, you'll be able to produce uh, bones that the dog can be able to chew and therefore there will be no problem of sticking uh, in the dog's mouth. Thank you.